we will see some of the improvements since Max 2021, this is with Update 1 and Update 2. We had big changes in modeling in Update 1. To extrude or inset, now you can do it directly with Shift, but in Update 2 the big news is a smart extrude. 3ds Max will detect any extrusion and any coplanar face will be deleted or stitched together accordingly. A scaling creates an inset, but if the inset is outwards, 3ds Max will delete any necessary edge. The stitching can be visible when you have a chamfer on top. Right now you can see that Max is stitching the back faces together. Because now we don't need an interface to extrude or inset, you can model way faster. Check this time lapse by Sergio Santos using these new tools to create an environment in a very easy and fast way. On update 2, face selection sets now are safe with the file. As well, Zoom Extend has been improved a lot to be much more reliable. On update 1, a lot of work has been done to preserve explicit normals across multiple modifiers. To avoid problems with the Shift plus Extrude, loops, rings and point-to-point -point has been remapped to the control key. This allows more flexibility to create all these types of different selections in 3ds Max. Remember as well that with double-click, even in face mode, you select elements. Multiple chamfer improvements on update 1, UV's preservation, better mesh quality using mesh smooth modifier, better depth calculation, as well weighted normals has been multi-threaded in update 1, and on update 2, we get push modifier multi-threaded with vertex normals cached, so it's way faster to apply a push modifier on heavy meshes. In update 2, we get a new spline modifier, spline chamfer. You can create fillets or chamfers or any value in between. You can create negative values if you want and different procedural options. With this, the list of splines modifiers in Max is quite big. On update 2, we get 6 new OSL maps. Maybe my favorite is a non-tiling bitmap. This map you can apply it to different objects and each object will get different UV coordinates, rotation or a scale or you can have variation in color. You can apply the same material to multiple objects and each one will be different. If you have a tailable texture, even if it's tailable, when you repeat it a lot of times, you can see the pattern repeating over and over. You can use the same OSL map to avoid this. By creating difference in position, rotation and scale per tile, what we make is to break this pattern and with this we can break the visual repetition. As well, what we can do is break this tiling, so instead of having a fixed tile, we have noise and we can have a blend between them. With these new OSLs, Max now has over 130 OSL maps. Slate material has been updated in performance, so right now, if you are in 4K monitor, before you could have some lag, now it's much more fluid. In update 1 we had a lot of improvements on viewport, we get depth of field on the HDRI background, big netting per camera and white balance per camera, matte shadows in viewport, UDIM supports on OSL, added displacement on PBR materials, improvements on OSL sequence loading and much more. On the FX side, we had different improvements on fluids. Now, fluids loader is exposed as particles, and we can use third-party products like Time Measure to mesh these particles. You can use as well V-Ray Instancing or other third-party products to do things with these particles. Big to Texture on Update 2 gets a new search list, so you can filter the multiple maps that you have. In Update 1, we get support for UDIMs, multiple animated frames, and multiple UI improvements. Arnold for Max or Max 2A has been greatly improved as well. A lot of improvements on GPU to make it more similar to the CPU side, faster render times and more compatibility with third-party particle systems. We get as well Arnold Render View, a progressive rendering solution that adds a lot of new functions to 3ds Max. You can do snapshots, you have an exposure controls, you have multiple elements to the back, isolation directly inside the render view, and other new features. We get some improvements on CAD, multiple bug fixes, and Track View get a lot of improvements of performance. It's way faster right now to navigate with multiple channels selected. These are just some of the new features added in 3ds Max 2021 Update 1 and Update 2.